Good afternoon, Good Shepherd. It is Wednesday, October 28th, the Feast of St. Simon and St. Jude. Uh, many of you know that um, I am an avid bird watcher. Aside from fishing and aside from cycling, I have been bird watching um, for uh, 35 years, I guess, long time. And um, I, I love all kinds of birds. I've watched them all over the country. And, uh, but right now, uh, water birds are um, coming in and moving out, um, ducks and pelicans and things like that. And, and water birds, I find some of the most fun birds to watch. Some of them are incredibly elegant. Um, if you haven't seen rafts of, of um, white pelicans um, soaring above reservoirs and uh, they're just gorgeous. And they, when they fly, they're just, like I say, they're just so elegant. Um, not so elegant when they land. Um, there are other birds that are elegant in the water. Um, great blue herons and, and egrets move. They're so stately when they move. Um, when they try and take off, however, it's a little, little different story. Um, but for most of them, like the white pelicans, and um, I'm thinking particularly now of geese, um, landing is almost always a chore. Um, they're coming in and the feet go out and you watch them sort of scoot in, um, skate in on the water. Well, sometimes something will go a little bit awry and there will be a flop and fluttering and all sorts of things. It's, uh, it's a, 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 a crash. Yep, the geese crash. Um, and so I, I, I was thinking about all of this. Um, and the other day, uh, a thing came across my Facebook feed, um, a meme um, with some geese landing um, in some water. And uh, the line down at the bottom of the Facebook uh, post said, landing is a controlled crash. <laughs> and, and I thought about it, thought about it. And I thought, I guess so. Um, you know, we want, uh, and we're, if we're in an airplane, we want that to be controlled when we're coming down. Um, and birds want to land uh, gracefully. And, well, they may not care so much about grace, but they want to land safely. But I, I thought that the metaphor um, was, was an interesting one um, to, to ponder. Um, how do we come back down um, in our native environment? Um, for water birds, um, the air is just someplace to get from place to place. It's, it's a medium through which you go to get back to your native environment. Um, they are not, um, for the most part, uh, most suited for flight. Some of them do very well, but that's not their main thing. Think of albatrosses and shearwaters and other pelagic birds, birds that fly over the ocean. They are made to fly. Um, condors, vultures, hawks, you know, they're made to fly. But water birds are not. Um, they are made to be on the water, uh, and that's where they get their food and uh, where they rest and all of that. So getting back down into their native environment is, is, is the challenge. And um, I think about that, um, you know, where we are right now is, uh, you know, after seven months, we have been out of our native environment. And um, we had thought we were going to come crashing in to maybe a controlled landing. Uh, a, a week or so ago, maybe two weeks, um, as we started looking at um, not only worship outside, um, but you know now moving uh, potentially moving inside. We didn't uh, foresee a couple of weeks ago the increased uh, cases of, of COVID um, and the change in uh, the requirements or the recommendations from both uh, the city of Denver and Tri County Health. Um, and so there's a lot of crashing kind of going on, a lot of juggling back and forth. Are we inside? Are we outside? Are we happening? Are we not happening? Uh, what's, this, what's this looking at? Uh, last week, I thought we were going to be back inside, but the weather is cooperating this weekend. So we will be outside on Sunday uh, for All Saints Day. Um, the advantage of the weather cooperating is it gives us just that much more time to get everything ready for when we move back inside. Some good news is that we did have the, uh, the high uh, quality filters um, installed in our air conditioning and heating. Um, that will keep the air a lot cleaner uh, once we are back inside. So that has been done and we're just working on finalizing some of the other arrangements. So that, that's all good. Um, but we're, we're trying to come in as smoothly as possible into this landing and, and things keep getting 
thrown our way uh, that, that we couldn't expect. Um, and so that's something that I think we're all experiencing, um, not just us at the church, but you know, individually in, in our lives outside of home and all of those kinds of things. Something will jar us from being able to, to glide back in and make that smooth landing. So um, bear with us. Everything is about being nimble these days, a uh, classic word that we're using a lot. Um, we have to be able to act and quickly. Um, sometimes it's uh, to, to make it a shift from inside to outside or outside to inside based on weather, um, shift based on you know, what we hear from the health authorities. So uh, again, we will be outside this coming Sunday. The email I have seen has just gone out. Um, so if you are interested in joining us, please sign up. Um, also, we are um, actively looking for volunteers for both um, uh, readers um, when we are back inside, um, as well as ushers to help move people in and out um, effect effectively, efficiently. Um, and then people to be uh, lay Eucharistic ministers or Eucharistic ministers to help hand out communion for those who are driving by. So all of those things we still need volunteers for. Um, it's, it becomes more challenging as we move inside because people's uh, comfort level is, is not quite as high as it is for outside worship and perfectly understandable. So again, if you've got um, any interest in doing any of those kinds of things, please uh, let us know. And we're always looking for volunteers to read on the Zoom service, which will continue at nine o'clock. Speaking of time, um, <clears throat> The time change is coming up this weekend. Uh, just another reminder that uh, when, before you go to bed um, on uh, Saturday night, uh, set your clock back an hour, enjoy that extra, uh, set your clock back an hour and enjoy that extra hour of sleep. Um, and then you'll be uh, ready for worship on Sunday. Um, and one last thing, um, again, sort of on the announcement side is that we are, I've mentioned this before, but we are starting to put together plans for Advent and Christmas. Um, we had a good meeting last night of some folks who are working on the planning of that. But start thinking um, about what Advent and Christmas have meant to you, what it has meant to you at the church. What are your favorite traditions? Do you have Advent poems, Christmas poems that you like? Um, all of those kinds of things, we'll probably find a place for them somewhere uh, as, as we put together the resources that we will share with the congregation. We're trying to come up with things that are out of the ordinary, but that will be very meaningful um, on top of the things that will be um, a sort of expected given COVID land. So anyway, um, I look forward to seeing you all soon. Um, blessings as you move through um, this week or the rest of this week. Uh, make sure you vote um, if you haven't already um, and uh, enjoy Halloween, uh, however it may be. Um, spooky time, but let's not at the spooky time get us down. I look forward to seeing you on All Saints Sunday. Bye-bye.